this is Michelle Shaw and this is Gentle Yoga TV. Today we have a special, let's get quiet, let's get centered and just push out that anxiety. Just sharing with you what I've been doing to help me get through this crazy anxiety of 2020 during the pandemic. Um, very simple breathing, breath work, sort of like a meditation, but we're gonna be counting our breaths. And then after that, we're going to have a part two where we stand up on our mat and a nice easy yoga flow for under 10 minutes. So you can choose one part to do the breathing to become centered, or maybe you wanna do both. So I hope you do this with me. And it's scientifically proven that breath work meditation helps the mind become more centered and takes us out of that fight or flight mode and our parasympathetic nervous system is what we want to switch on and turn off that sympathetic nervous system. So thank you for being with me. Subscribe to my channel, Michelle Shaw, and I am so grateful to be with you in spirit. Namaste. Hi, let's begin seated, all right? So find a nice comfortable place at home. Maybe it's on the floor or in a chair. And what we're going to do is very simple. We're going to be counting our breaths. So if you're on the floor with me um, and you have tight hips, just elevate your hips by placing a pillow right under your sit bones, right under your hips, all right? And let's take our right hand and we're going to ground it down to the earth or to the chair or maybe that floor, all right? And make sure you're rooted as the front. We're going to just lift that heart space all the way up, almost if there's an imaginary strength pulling us up to the sky. And now let's take our thumbs and place it at the base of our head and make sure we are aligning that spine with our neck. And we're going to take our hands and count right here our breaths. So make sure when you're sitting down, we're going to place one hand right on our abdomen so we can feel the breath moving in and out. And the other hand, I will be guiding you one. And one full breath is. Inhale and exhale, that's one full breath. And then I'll say one. And then we'll move to the middle, I mean the marriage finger the middle finger, the index finger, and then the thumb. And open that palm, all right? And then when we switch to the other side, we're going to start with the pinky once again, placing it right here. And that will be breath six, and we'll count with these fingers, all right? So just follow the hands keep your fingers moving that is part of this exercise they're called japas in sanskrit and it's also a mudra because we're moving our fingers from one to the next with the palm open so just find your nice quiet spot let's ground all those sit bones once again placing that right hand on our abdomen lifting that rib cage Let's take a nice fresh inhale. One. Traveling to the next finger. Two next finger three traveling to the next finger four Opening that palm wide, breathing in and out through the nose. Five, placing that left hand on the abdomen, transferring to the other hand, 
pinky to thumb, fresh inhale. Six, traveling to the next finger. Seven, middle finger. Eight, traveling to that index finger. Nine. Traveling to that open hand, 10, right here. Nice, fresh inhale and exhale through the nose. Ten. Placing our palms at the center of our heart. Breath, 11, nice, fresh inhale. Eleven. Now we're just going to switch up our feet. Get comfortable and begin once again, rooting those sit bones down, lifting that heart space in and out through the nose, bringing that right hand to the abdomen, lifting that rib cage, starting with the pinky and the thumb. Nice, fresh inhale. Beginning at one again. One. Traveling to the next finger. Two. Three, traveling to that index finger. Four, opening that hand. Five. Transferring hands, left hand to abdomen, bringing that pinky to thumb. Breath six. Six. Traveling to the marriage finger. Seven, traveling to the middle finger. Traveling to that index finger. Breath nine. Opening that palm. Nice, fresh inhale. And exhale through the nose. Breath 10. Bringing our hands to our heart center. Breath 11. And that's it. 11 breaths on each side, counting our breaths with our fingers, using that other hand to experience the power of the breath, transferring the hand over to there and remembering 
to switch those feet up and beginning again with one. That's the end of part one. This is part two of pushing away anxiety in 2020, okay, or any year. It's been a crazy year for all of us. So part one was getting centered, doing those 11 breaths on each side. And if you just wanna do 11 breaths once, just to get started, the main thing is breathing deep in and out through the nose. And now we're going to move our body just for a little bit, for around seven to 10 minutes to get our body warmed up. So you can either do part one or part two are both. So let's place our hands right in the center of our heart. Lift the crown of our head up to the sky and place our hands at our heart center. Take a nice fresh inhale. Just center ourselves one more time, pushing firmly into our toes and we're going to inhale, lift those arms up. Gazing up at the palms, exhale, let's sweep those hands down. Inhale, let's lift one side up. Exhale, breathing in and out through the nose, sweeping that hand down, other side lifts up. Inhale. Exhale, sweep that hand down. Now let's do both hands once again. Inhale, sweeping those hands up. Lifting that chin up and exhale. Let's open our hearts, bending our arms, cactus arms, and let's move those fingers. And now let's tilt that chin up, creating a space between our chin all the way to our heart space. Really micro bend in that upper back, moving those fingers. Inhale, stretch those palms up. Exhale through the nose all the way down. And now let's step to the top of our mat, aligning our spine. We've got our ankles right underneath our knees. Our knees are right underneath our hips, releasing that tailbone down, lifting that heart space. Shoulders are soft, and we're going to place our hands at our heart center one more time. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Little micro bend in the back. Exhale, forward fold. Just diving down, micro bend in those knees to protecting those knees. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold, crown of the head coming down to the floor or the earth. Inhale, let's sweep those arms all the way back up. Just a little micro bend in that back again. Exhale, right to the heart. Let's do that one more time a little faster. Inhale. Exhale, sweep those arms down, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And let's root to right, strong arms, strong legs, sweeping all the way back up. <laughs> There's a big face. Exhale, right back to that heart center. And now let's bend those knees, sitting back into Ukatasana, our chair pose, right? Making sure you can see your toes, finding our mighty posture. We've got three breaths right here. We're warming up our body, and we're just going to sweep these arms three times as we push firmly into our toes. One more time here. And now hold those palms together rooting those sit bones down. One more breath. Nice, fresh inhale. And that's exhale, forward fold. Hands coming down. Inhale, halfway lift. And let's step both feet back into a high plank. Or a modified plank, your choice. We're just here for three breaths, okay? This is a quick little warm up for our body. and. Extend those shoulders up and now see my hips. I'm just going to release them down, but the core stays strong. And make sure your feet are hip with this um, hip distance apart. And we've got one more breath. Nice, fresh inhale. And let's actually just roll over on those toes and lower all the way down softening those toes and we're going to inhale stretch those arms out 
and make those legs alive. Lift those kneecaps and really peel that chest up almost as if there's a ball. And now my feet are going to lift up one more breath right here. Excellent. Inhale. Place your hands right by your rib cage and let's come right up into our tabletop position. Really extending those shoulders up right here. Lifting that chin as we get ready for cat cow. Just rolling that spine up. Finding that nice space in the morning, connecting with our body, and breathing deep in and out through the nose. We've got one more breath. Excellent. And now we're just going to bring our toes forward to a toe squat, rooting our sit bones down over our heels, lifting that heart space, bringing our hands right to our heart space, or placing them right by your hips, aligning that neck. We've got three breaths here. It's always important for us to really find that alignment One more breath. Let's take that fresh inhale and lift our body up, sweeping those arms up, little micro bend in the upper back. And exhale, bring those hands right to our heart center. Inhale, extend the arms out. And we're going to have to take that little micro bend again. And exhale, bring the hands right out in front of us. We're going to inhale, open our hands over to the right. Lifting that heart space, releasing that tailbone down. One more breath. And then take that right hand and let's just gently take a little micro bend right there. Bringing that heart space back up, arms long and strong, and let's bring that palm to the front. Inhale, other side extends open right here. Checking in, lifting that heart space. Breathing deep, maybe gazing out at that hand. Nice fresh inhale, reaching for that heel. Little micro bend here variation of Ustrasana coming right back. Arms are long again. One more breath. And then bring that in. On your exhale, right back to center. And now let's soften our feet sitting back for three breaths here, lifting that heart space. Strengthening our balance by strengthening those ankles. One more breath. Let's inhale, sweep those arms, hands forward, and we're just going to walk the feet out a little bit and the knees and really stretch those arms long and strong. We're gonna take a fresh inhale and just kind of shift back and forth the length of your mat. This is like a variation of puppy pose, just kind of shifting that body forward. Let's do that one more time. And this time, take a fresh inhale and allow the crown of your head to come down. Or maybe your forehead, or maybe it's your chin, for three full breaths in puppy pose. One more breath. Mm. 
Inhale, let's pull ourselves back up right through those forearms. And once again, legs are nice and long. And we're going to inhale, stretch those arms out, lifting those feet, engaging our inner thigh muscles, lifting that heart, expanding our heart, finding our strength, loving ourselves. One more breath. Nice, fresh inhale. Let's place those hands by the rib cage and come all the way up, lifting those hips into downward dog. Maybe extending those arms just a little longer. Three breaths right here. On the last breath, let's walk those feet out, just moving that body around. Now let's look at our hands. Take a step with that right foot. Left foot steps up. Halfway lift, nice, strong core. Exhale, forward fold. Micro bend in the knees. And remember, let's root to rise. Strong arms, strong legs, little micro bend in that back. Exhale, prayer pose. <laughs> 